Hey, how's it going, everybody? It's your pal and possum. I'm here. We're back in ministry with another ministry uh, logic basics tutorial. Uh, today, we'll be going over the memory cell and how to read and write from memory. So right here, we have a microprocessor, the memory cell, and a message box, just so we can print out what values we have at different places. Uh, let me see. The uh, memory cell has 64 uh, indexes, which you can put memory into, so you can store 64 different variables in there. So let's start right now by reading what's at uh, index zero. And uh, it initializes as zero. So we'll just show that right off the bat. This is how we're gonna read it out. And we're gonna go ahead and print out what that value is. So we're gonna print out value. And we're gonna print flush it. We've uh, covered print and print flush in a previous tutorial. I'll uh, have that down for you below if you guys haven't seen that yet. Anyway, so this should now print out the value at index zero of this memory cell, which is zero, which we already knew where I said that was gonna happen. So that's how you read from memory. Uh, before we read from it, let's go ahead and change what's in that memory slot. So instead of writing, uh, instead of just reading whatever is at cell zero, let's put something there first. Let's put five there. So now we're gonna put the number five into cell zero, cell one, which is this cell right here, which we have looked hooked up, says cell one. And uh, we're putting, the value of five at position zero. So this is starts from zero and goes up to 63, which equals the 64 individual uh, pieces of information that it can carry. So if we go back out now, this should say five right here, because we wrote five to that value, then we're reading back from it saying, what is it? And we're printing it out. So that is all there is to it. There's the memory cell, X is a basic a uh, piece of uh, you know memory bank, but there's also the uh, the memory bank itself, which actually holds a lot more information. You can treat them exactly the same, but the memory bank holds 512 pieces of information instead of just 64 like the memory cell. Otherwise, it is exactly the same. So I hope this guy has helped you guys out. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them down in the comments. I'll try to help you guys out if I can. And I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, new little Ministry Basics Logic tutorial, and I'll have another one out soon. See you then.